And on this 20th anniversary of the space shuttle disaster, I spoke with Evelyn Husband, widow of the Columbia's Captain Rick Husband. She joined us from Houston, Texas, to speak about how she coped with this tragedy, the relationship that she and her late spouse had with Elon and Rona Ramon, and how she feels about the future of space travel. Evelyn Husband, thank you for joining us on I-24 News. I really just want to begin by asking you your thoughts on this Briefly, your thoughts, general in general, on this 20th anniversary of the Columbia disaster, on the tragedy, on, of course, your late husband, Rick. It's so lovely to, to be with you again, and I appreciate your love and interest in our families, the Columbia families. Um, in some ways, it just seems like the accident just happened. In some ways, it seems like a lifetime ago, it's very hard to explain, um, but it's a very poignant time for my family as we reflect and remember all those that we love so dearly and lost. Right, and I know you wrote a book, uh, A Higher Calling, about how faith got you, helped get you through uh, this tragedy. Talk just a little about that. Rick and I both, um, shared a very strong faith in God and in Jesus. And it has really um, sustained my family through these 20 years. I'm um, in a Bible study this year, studying the minor prophets. And we just finished studying Hezekiah. And we also studied Jehoshaphat. And it just amazed me how some things never change. We cry out to God, we don't know what to do, and we need his help. And so that is exactly where I have found myself through these years is crying out to God for help. And he has been so faithful. Now, of course, Evelyn, as you know, for Israel, this is also a day of mourning in particular for Elon Ramon and in some ways for other members of his family, including his yes. wife, Rona, who passed away uh, yes. uh, in 2018. Talk about maybe your relationship with him, both your husband's perhaps with Elon and yours with him, and also the one you had with, with Rona uh, after the tragedy. We absolutely love the Ramon family and want to say publicly how much I love you, Tall, and Eve Talk, and Noah, and our hearts are with you. They had hoped to come to Houston. We had the NASA Day of Remembrance this last week, and we were hoping that they could come, but they're really busy right now. We were able to see them actually earlier this year in Florida for Aton's launch, and so that was spectacular. But we we love the Ramon family. Elon was an amazing man, very humble, loved his family so much. Rick valued his expertise on his crew, and it was just a, a hugely significant loss. Rona and I had an incredible friendship I just loved her so much. When we flew with the crew back to Israel after the accident, I was just blown away. Everybody in Israel knows Rona, <laughs> knew Rona. And um, I told Rona, I said, you're a rock star. And she said, well, you're the queen of England. <laughs> so we just had an amazing friendship. My heart grieved so much when she became sick. And we texted each other quite often. And um, there was a, a, a verse that Rick said to the crew um, on the night before they launched that Rona texted back to me in her final days, and it's Joshua 1.9, and it's about being strong and courageous and, and, and leaning on the Lord. And so she said that had become her mantra, and she, she was an amazing lady. I miss her tons. I really do. Asaf was an incredible young man. Um, we all loved him dearly. So that that family has certainly endured some significant tragedy. Right. Uh, of course, Asaf, his son, who wanted to follow in his father's footsteps as a pilot yeah. and died in a training accident with the Israeli Air Force. Uh, uh, you mentioned Israel coming to Israel. I also saw photos of you at Yad Vashem some uh, uh, with Rona at an exhibit. And of course, you talked about your faith. I imagine coming to Israel special to you on, on several levels here. It is, and just to have such close friends that live there just magnifies that. Israel is an extremely special place. Anybody that gets to travel there or live there is, is extremely blessed. Um, I am a great spokesperson for Israel because every opportunity I have to go, I, I do, and I, I love your country so much.
All right. Evelyn, let me ask you, after that uh, uh, Columbia disaster, and I remember even going back then earlier uh, to the Challenger disaster, there are questions raised about space travel, about its value, uh, and the risks involved, and, uh, and some of the, I would even say some of the glamour loss that I remember as a child growing up in the days of the Apollo program. Now, the last couple of years, we've seen in the U.S., uh, the private initiative, the space program going back. You know, Israel's very involved in its own space program, collaborating even with its Arab neighbors. What are your feelings about it? You've lost so much uh, from that, but also, I guess, you also gained so much, and certainly it meant so much to your, to your husband. Well, it did. Rick wanted to be an astronaut since he was four years old. So on our first date, I asked him what he wanted to do. We were just beginning college. And he shared with me then that he wanted to be an astronaut. It was a lifelong dream of his. And so I think it captured my heart as well. And obviously, after the tragedy, it was extremely difficult. But I did not want everything to shut down. I just wanted them to really focus on safety and lessons learned. And I feel like that they've really done that. And it has entered into such an incredible new era of, of privatized and commercialized flight. We had the privilege of hosting a NASA intern this last fall, Zach Kolovos, and it was incredible to see all of the things that he's working on and just seeing the future of our space program. I'm very excited about it. All right, uh, Evelyn Husband, of course, our thoughts go out to you on this 20th anniversary of the Columbia disaster. As we here in Israel remember all of those who lost their lives, including, of course, uh, Elon Ramon, and of course, we remember uh, uh, Rona as well. Thank you for joining us on i Thank you so much.